Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mandy. I live in Arizona with my husband. I have three children, two still living at home, two teenagers. So for the month of August, I did a stock up, $10 stock up each week of the month. At the end of the month, I showed you everything I was able to get for just $10. If you are interested in seeing that, I will link the playlist down in the description box. Now this month, for September, I planned on doing it again, but I have decided to join the collab um, Stock It September. Now this is not my collab. This is Lynn at Bucket List Homestead, I believe is the channel. I'm, I'm positive it's the channel. So I'm gonna continue with my $10 stock up each week. So let me just turn you around and show you what I got this time. All right, this week I shopped at Walmart. I wanted to stock up on items to get prepared for the holidays. Um, I use a lot of bread, so I decided to stock up on some flour. This all-purpose unbleached flour is $2.34 at my Walmart. And I also decided to get some bread flour. I've actually never baked with bread flour, but I'm going to give it a try since I have been cooking from scratch more and more. That is $3.93 for the five pound bag. Now, one thing I never really thought about was stocking up on um, medicine. So I actually do take this headache relief from um, Equate. It works pretty good for me. It has a little bit of caffeine in it. It's like Tylenol with caffeine, so it really helps if I have a headache or something. This is two bottles. Each bottle has a hundred cap, um, a hundred pills in it, and this is only four dollars and twelve cents for two bottles. So I just think that's a really good deal. Um, let's see here: two hundred and fifty milligrams of acetaminophen. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not gonna say that right, but 250 milligrams. So this is it. That was $10.39. Sometimes, some weeks I'm a little bit over, some weeks I'm a little bit under. All right, so I wanted to share with you guys why I stock up. So I have an, what I like to call an overflow pantry. It's a closet in my bedroom and I like to put non-perishable food items in there that would help us get through a time where maybe we couldn't go to the grocery store, maybe we only had $50 or $25, only had a certain amount that we could spend and we needed to pull from something else to get us through. Now in my main pantry, <laughs> I probably have enough in there to get us through a month or two. And then if it went on any longer than that, I could pull from stuff that's in my overflow pantry. Um, a couple of months ago, we had two vehicles that were in the shop and we were being hit with a lot of repair bills. And I just had to keep my budget really, really small. And I was able to pull from that overflow pantry and help fill in the gaps where I couldn't spend as much at the store. So that was really good. That is the main reason I have the overflow pantry. It's not to sustain us for years and years. It's not really a long-term pantry. It's just extra stuff that I use all the time that I can pull from in case I need to. So that is why I stock up. Let me know down in the comments if you are going to participate in this collab or if you are planning on just stocking up once a week in September. I would love to hear what you stock up on. I'm probably going to be stocking up on some more flour this month and some baking supplies. Just things to help get us through the winter. And honestly, like, this is really good to have. I'm thinking like some cough and cold medicine. I always find that I never have it until I need it. <laughs> or, you know, when I need it, I don't have it. Someone will get sick and I'll go to pull out the cold medicine and I won't have any. I'll have to run to the store. So it's good to be prepared. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Go check out Lynn at Bucket List Homestead. 
Thank you, Lynn, for putting on this collab, and I will see you guys next week with another $10 stock up. Bye, guys.